hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna do an inspired makeup so i was recently like you no know, uh, long like long ago i was watching a, a series called euphoria and i was in love with maddie's looks like all the maddie's makeup looks nails and everything so i was just thinking back then only i just wanted to do a you know a inspired makeup look for my youtube channel so i was so inspired by her you know like the club makeup like she wear the green one with a high neck i just show you the picture and that makeup look was amazing i genuinely loved it so i just want to try it on myself and i just want to see how it looks so i just want to record that as well and show it to you guys as well so yeah without further ado let's get into the makeup look so this is the makeup look which i'm talking about see this is the one like oh god literally she looks absolutely stunning oh god i love her and this is the makeup look which makeup look which i showed in the previous clip was the makeup look which i was obsessed during you know the seasons like when i was watching the series so i just wanted to recreate that and you know like in this she used a blue and you know uh, you know i have matching that outfit i just wore a black high neck so yeah and i have done my base actually so i have done my base You know, I didn't do that much of a high coverage base. I just did a sheer coverage, you know, in a light skin base. And I've done a multiple video on my uh, YouTube channel as well for the you know base makeup. So now I'm gonna jump into like my eyes, cheeks, and lips. However, she has done. So I'm gonna you know try to you know <laughs> make it work. And yeah, my eyes. I'm gonna use a mask. Uh, no fit in purse i don't remember the name i've just removed everything out of this palette it's a you no know, i've used it multiple times so it's in the shade smoke it up it's from the mars brand i'm going to use a brown which is here in this palette and going to use it in everywhere and i'm i'm going to make sure it's not that warm because it's a cool tone makeup look so i'm just going to use it as my base shade so that it does not look grey After doing my makeup, so I use this brown as my base shade for my every eye shadow look. So yeah. In the same palette, I'm going to use this uh, brown color, these two colors, mixing it together. I've used it multiple times, like I've emptied this part and this one. So yeah, I'm going to use this in my crease to bring in the definition. And then drag it along like the sh in shape of my eyes, so that it gives me that depth for my eyes right now. And now I'm gonna use a mix of black, little bit, not that much, just hint of it. I'm gonna use it here, in, you know, like literally here in my crease, like when I'm just, you know, opening my eyes, there's a crease form. So in there, I'm gonna use this black, little bit, like little bit, not that much. to create a nice more definition to my eyes so yeah that's how it is yeah using a fluffy brush to blend everything in so that there's no harsh lines in my eyes so yeah the green which she has used in her you know eyelids <clears throat> for that i'm going to use this wis beauty you now a single shadow and this is a shade turquoise 18 this is amazing literally it is exactly matching the eye look she is wearing in the in in that series so i'm going to use this in my you know i'm going to use this flat brush to pick up the product really nice i'm going to use it in my you know corners like literally swipe it in, like in the corner it's super pigmented so i'm going to blend it anyway so but i'm using it in the corners confirmed it because that's the color because she i can see the turquoise color here turquoise here in this uh, you know look inside wise so yeah we are going to blend everything in using the same fluffy brush so that you know the glitter does not give a harsh look and yeah now we're going to jump into eyeliner so i'm going to use this eyeliner from this side and i got it long back so i'm going to use this because for this i want a nice liquid strong liner so i'm going to use this for my eyeliner
finished the eyeliner part so now i'm gonna have to fix the faffy clashes so this is how i have done the liner yeah i tried my level best to ease it so now let's jump into lashes i'm gonna use this nika's uh, lashes and this is called as melodrama and i've cut it according to my uh, you know like eye shape and size so like exactly like I right know exactly for my eye you know shape because I like it to be little you know from here to here not completely I just like it in the outer end so basically I've cut it you know to suit my eye length so now I'm going to glue my lashes and I'm going to fix it up Now I've done my, you know, fixed my lashes, fake lashes. Now I'm going to use my mascara from Sugar Cosmetics and use it in my lashes to, you know, literally blend the fake ones and my real lashes. So it doesn't look very, you know, differentiated and does not look different. And my face is getting oily. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my compact and make my skin a little matte so that I can go in and do my cheeks and blush and everything so for my blush and highlighter i'm going to use this fit me you know blush and or highlighter glitter mixed with it so it's in the shade 50 it's called as blush but it has a small glitter particles like gold particles where it gives you that beautiful shine to your face so we're going to use this in high points of my cheek so that it just looks so natural because in this look, uh, Maddie is not wearing that much, you know, through her cheeks. So just a little bit so that it just gives you that hint of pink in your cheek. Yeah. Oops. Now I've just wiped my lip balm. And for my lips, I'm going to go with brown. Because in this uh, look, she'll be wearing a good brown gloss. You know, brown glossy look. So for that, I, I'm, I'm going to take a you know, lip liner, which is brown in shade. This is from Color Bar. I'll link it in the down in the description. Link it down. So this is from Color Bar. So this is in the shade brown. And I'm going to use this in my lips. Uh, you know, fill it as well. And then use a gloss, which is like a brown shade from Rene. This is in the shade, uh, this is the shade Sunstone. So we're going to mix these two and, you know, bring a look where Mary is wearing and this is a perfect brown for my skin tone so you guys can you know ease it with a brown which you guys think it would match your skin tone and I'm going to use a gloss on top Okay, this is turning orange, so I need to use a different color, I think, yeah. Mm. Wiped the little product off my face. I'm going to use this uh, brown, brown sugar from Sugar Cosmetics. It's an eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as my uh, lip liner. This brown is has a neutral undertone, so it does not turn orange. So, we're going to make sure the lipstick is not turning orange. Because in this, she'll be wearing a good, beautiful, you know, good brown, which I want to achieve. Yeah, now it is more, you know, like cool, you know, neutral brown. Yeah. Yeah, now we're gonna top on with a gloss. Yeah, let me just finish it up and then we can use the gloss, the same gloss. This is from Rene Cosmetics. This is a beautiful uh, uh, brown you can use in your lips. Mm, nice. This is an exact match. Yeah. So the products which I use for this lip color is that this is from Sugar Cosmetics. It's a brown eyeliner. This is in the shade 03 Brown Sugar, and this is Rene's lip gloss in the shade uh, C03 Sunstone. 
this is my finished look. I think I was able to pull off a bit at least 75% of it, I guess. But I don't have the hairband which she'll be wearing in the series. Like, God, she will be amazing in the scene. You know, like, oh God, I love Maddie's character. God, I was, I can just, I tried my best to pull off this look. And I changed my hearing to hoops, bigger hoops, because she's wearing a bigger hoops in this. So, yeah, just tell me how this makeup look looks like. Yeah, at least it's just matching her look. So, yeah, I mean, I am in love. This is like, I never go this dark in my eyes, the eyeliner part. I just use a little bit of a wing line, a little bit of a flick. But this is like heavy, like on eyes. But this looks stunning. It gives me that deep feminine, you know, like that uh, aesthetic look. So yeah, and I haven't done my eyebrows. I just left it natural. So if you guys wanted to do your, you know, fill in your eyebrows, you can go ahead and do it. So yeah, this is my makeup. If you guys have any suggestions, please put it in the comment section. So which look should I recreate and post it on YouTube? So I enjoyed recreating this look. Oh my God, this was so much fun, like literally. And yeah, and rate my eyeliner and the makeup and everything in the comments. And please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. I see, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.